Um, I have my buddy John Romero and Billy D. Williams right over here. My guys from AMA Fight Club. Um, I have family coming out. I have friends. I probably have about 50 people coming out, flying out to yeah, Vegas. Awesome. Yeah. So you have to win. You gotta find a way oh, to get I'll, more money so you can find. Yeah, I'm gonna win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 100%. I'm gonna win. Uh, and yeah, it'll, uh, yeah, it'll be fun things after the, after this. You know, it'll be very, it'll be fun. You said before you're talking about how you know you're here to fight. And there's things that you're gonna bring inside that people haven't seen. Talk a little bit about your fighting style. What fans can expect when you're here. Um. I, I, I move, I hit hard, I hit hard to the head. Um, you know, if they, if they stay awake on, on, the, on the feet, I, I can take anyone down and I can, I can submit anyone. My jiu-jitsu my, my on paper is definitely my stronger suit. I'm a brown belt. I've been doing that since I was 16, and uh, I'm, I'm good at that. But I, I hit hard. I hit real hard, and, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to get some knockouts. I'd like to knock this guy out. I think, you know, knockouts are fun. What should they know? Um, I don't know, man. I, most people say I'm I'm a good guy. I'm de I definitely think I'm a good guy. I, uh, you know, I, I have a I have a great family, great support uh, from them, and I yeah I I just you know I have family friends. You know, I'm a nice guy. What did your family think when you were 16 and decided you wanted to be a professional fighter? Were they supportive from the very beginning, or what was their reaction like? Um, yeah, my family is extremely supportive. Uh, my dad actually. Like, I've been talking about wanting to do jiu-jitsu. He found the place and, and like, made me go. And I was kind of, like, nervous, like, the first day and stuff. And I, I was so happy I did. It was, it was great. Um, he, yeah, my dad, and my dad and my mom always very supportive. My sister, Jamie, is extremely supportive. Uh, she helps me out so much. Uh, yeah. Family's great, man. They love they love. Now, when you found out that Dana White was going to be at your fight, did you were you telling all your family, friends, hey, you guys need to show up, you guys need to support? I saw the shirts you guys were wearing. Was that something that was planned too? Or? That was. We did that for um, not just that fight, but for um, my past, I think, two or three fights. And I, yeah, I have a great support system, like I said, at home. I, 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 sell over, I would sell over 100 tickets for my fights, my local, like, uh, regional fights, my amateur fights. I'd sell over 100 tickets. Um, yeah, I, I'm really, really lucky. People like to watch me fight, and I have a lot of great friends who come out and support and family. Now, is that your logo? Is that your special logo, or is that something that I, I want to hear the backstory on that? Yeah. No, I, I would switch. I had a gorilla for one. I had a lion for another one. A crocodile for that one. I think that was it. Yeah, I would just I'd toss some bad badass animal on there, on the front of the shirt. I thought. Now before. When you knew that Dana White was going to be there, did you know that you were going to call out CM Punk? Or were you going to try and talk to him privately, or was that something you knew you were going to get up on the mic and do? I would do it on the mic. If 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 there was a mic, I was going to get my hands on it. and I was going to say something. Um, I figured it was a bold move, it was a strong move, and it you know it could it could open doors. And it, it was a way to make the most of my opportunity. I was going to win impressively, and then I was going to call him out to get here, to get here, so I can you know I could, where I belong in the, in the UFC. Awesome. Thanks.